Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A woman is typing on a laptop. B. People are standing in a queue at a bus stop. C. A man is serving food at a counter. D. A man is preparing a presentation in an office. The correct answer is C. A man is serving food at a counter. Number 2. A. Several workers are cleaning a building. B. Two people are painting a wall. C. A group of people is having a meeting in a park. D. A man is giving a presentation in a cafe. The correct answer is D. A man is giving a presentation in a cafe. Number 3. A. An architect is giving a presentation to a client. B. Two people are having a meeting in a conference room. C. Two people are reviewing blueprints in an office. D. A group of engineers is discussing a project. The correct answer is C. Two people are reviewing blueprints in an office. Number 4. A. A teacher is giving a presentation to students in a classroom. B. A group of people is attending a meeting in an office. C. A woman is explaining a project at a conference. D. Workers are preparing for a business meeting in a boardroom. The correct answer is A. A teacher is giving a presentation to students in a classroom. Number 5. A. A man is writing mathematical equations on a blackboard. B. A woman is giving a presentation in an auditorium. C. A teacher is handing out books to students. D. A group of students is walking down the hallway. The correct answer is A. A man is writing mathematical equations on a blackboard. Number 6. A. A team is presenting a project in an office. B. People are attending a workshop in a park. C. Two people are reviewing architectural plans outdoors. D. A couple is discussing their travel plans. The correct answer is C. Two people are reviewing architectural plans outdoors. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening. Question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Is there a discount for students? A. It's on the second floor. B. Yes, 15% off with a student ID. C. It starts next week. The correct answer is B. Yes, 15% off with a student ID. Number 2. When will the new manager start? A. Next Monday. B. The previous one left last week. C. He is very experienced. The correct answer is A. Next Monday. Number 3. Whose book is this on the table? A. It's a fascinating read. B. It's Lisa's. C. Yes, I have seen it. The correct answer is B. It's Lisa's. Number 4. How long will the presentation take? A. I'll send it to you. B. I have a meeting at 2 p.m. C. About 30 minutes. The correct answer is C. About 30 minutes. Number 5. Can you attend the conference next month? A. The conference is in New York. B. I have already registered. C. It's a great opportunity.
The correct answer is B. I have already registered. Number 6. What time are we expected to arrive? A. I'm taking the train. B. Expecting high participation. C. Around 6 p.m., traffic permitting. The correct answer is C. Around 6 p.m., traffic permitting. Number 7. How much does this book cost? A. It's $15. B. Sure, I'll buy it. C. I love reading books. The correct answer is A. It's $15. Number 8. Why did you choose this software? A. Let's ask the IT department. B. It has great reviews. C. I prefer the old version. The correct answer is B. It has great reviews. Number 9. Who authorized the purchase? A. I need to purchase something. B. It was expensive. C. Mr. Peterson did. The correct answer is C. Mr. Peterson did. Number 10. What time is the team meeting? A. Yes, I'll bring the reports. B. No, I haven't seen him yet. C. At 2 p.m. in the conference room. The correct answer is C. At 2 p.m. in the conference room. Number 11. Could you finish the report by Friday? A. I attended the meeting. B. Yes, I can do that. C. It rained heavily. The correct answer is B. Yes, I can do that. Number 12. Do you know how to use this software? A. No, it is very complicated. B. I will ask someone else. C. Yes, I have trained on it. The correct answer is C. Yes, I have trained on it. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Have you completed the financial report? Yes, I finished it last night. Great. Could you send it to my email? I'll do that right after this meeting. What does the woman ask the man to do? A. Send the report. B. Review the report. C. Print the report. The correct answer is A. Send the report. Number 2. I need to finish this report by tomorrow. Can you help me gather some data? I'm busy this afternoon, but I can help you later in the evening. That would be great. Thank you. No problem. I'll come by your office around 6 p.m. When will the woman help with the report? A. Tomorrow morning. B. Later in the evening. C. This afternoon. The correct answer is B. Later in the evening. Number 3. I need your approval on this budget report. Let me take a quick look. Okay, it looks fine. Thank you. I'll proceed with the next steps. You're welcome. What did the woman need from the man? A. Approval of the budget report. B. Help with a presentation. C. A meeting reschedule. The correct answer is A. Approval of the budget report. Number 4. Can we reschedule our lunch meeting? Something urgent came up. Sure, how about 2 p.m. instead? That works for me, thank you. No problem. See you then. When will their meeting be rescheduled to? A. At 2 p.m. B. In the morning. C. At noon. The correct answer is A. At 2 p.m. Number 5. Did you get the new software installed? Yes, I installed it this morning. Is everything working fine? So far, no issues. When was the software installed? A. Yesterday. B. This morning. 
C. Last week. The correct answer is B. This morning. Number 6. I need to arrange a service appointment for my car. Do you want to do it during lunchtime? That's a good idea. I'll call the service center now. Let me know if you need a ride there. When will she call the service center? A. During lunchtime. B. In the morning. C. In the afternoon. The correct answer is A. During lunchtime. Number 7. Hi, I have a reservation under the name Smith. Let me check. Yes, I see it here. How many nights will you be staying? Three nights. Can I have a room on a higher floor? Certainly. I'll assign you a room on the seventh floor. How many nights is the reservation for? A. Two nights. B. One night. C. Three nights. The correct answer is C. Three nights. Number 8. I need to book a flight to New York for the conference. Do you have any preferences on airlines or times? As long as it's a direct flight and leaves in the morning, I'm good. I'll look into it and send you the options shortly. What does the man prefer for his flight? A. An evening flight. B. A direct morning flight. C. A flight with layovers. The correct answer is B. A direct morning flight. Number 9. Have you reserved the conference room for the team meeting? Yes, I booked it for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Great, I'll inform the team. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. When is the team meeting? A. Today at 10 a.m. B. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. C. Next week. The correct answer is B. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Number 10. I need to book a flight to New York for the conference next week. Would you like me to handle the reservations? Yes, please book it for Monday morning. I'll take care of it now. What day is the man flying to New York? A. Wednesday. B. Monday. C. Tuesday. The correct answer is B. Monday. Number 11. Can we discuss the marketing plan after lunch? Sure, I have time around 1.30 p.m. Perfect, I'll see you then. Let's meet in my office. When will they discuss the marketing plan? A. Before lunch. B. In the morning. C. After lunch. The correct answer is C. After lunch. Number 12. Have you reserved the conference room for the training session? Yes. yes. It's reserved from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Perfect. Do we have all the materials ready? Yes. Everything is set. What time is the training session scheduled? A. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. B. From 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. C. From 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The correct answer is C. From 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Don't forget to attend our workshop on effective communication skills this Friday at the main library. Learn how to express yourself clearly and listen actively. This session is ideal for both personal and professional development. Where will the workshop take place? A. At the main library. B. At a conference center. C. In a private office. The correct answer is A. At the main library. Number 2. This reminder is for all tenants in Building A. The fire alarm system will be tested tomorrow at 10 a.m. Please do not be alarmed. This is only a test. Ensure all fire safety protocols are followed during the test. What is happening at 10 a.m. tomorrow? A. A fire evacuation. B. The fire alarm system will be tested. C. A security drill.
The correct answer is B. The fire alarm system will be tested. Number 3. Attention residents. There will be a water supply interruption tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. due to maintenance work. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. Please store enough water for your needs. Why will there be a water supply interruption? A. To save water. B. To clean the tanks. C. Due to maintenance work. The correct answer is B. Due to maintenance work. Number 4. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our annual tech conference. Today, we will showcase the latest innovations in AI and robotics. Don't miss the keynote speech at 10 a.m., followed by breakout sessions on various topics. Enjoy your day and make the most of the networking opportunities. What will happen at 10 a.m.? A. Lunch break. B. The keynote speech. C. The conference ends. The correct answer is B. The keynote speech. Number 5. The City Council is holding a public meeting next Tuesday to discuss the new recycling program. Residents are encouraged to attend and provide feedback. The meeting will take place at the Community Center at 7 p.m. When is the City Council meeting? A. Next Monday. B. Next Tuesday. C. This Tuesday. The correct answer is B. Next Tuesday. Number 6. Our library is introducing an extended hours schedule starting next month. The library will now be open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on weekdays and from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekends. We hope this will provide more flexibility for our patrons to read and study. When will the library start its new extended hours? A. Next month. B. Next week. C. Next year. The correct answer is A. Next month. Number 7. Join us this Saturday for the city's annual cleanup day. Volunteers will meet at Central Park at 9 a.m. and receive all the necessary materials. Let's make our city cleaner and greener. Together, we can make a difference. What time should volunteers meet at Central Park? A. 9 a.m. B. 10 a.m. C. 8 a.m. The correct answer is C. 9 a.m. Number 8. Our community center is hosting a blood donation drive next Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. All eligible donors are encouraged to participate. Remember to bring a photo ID and eat a healthy meal before donating. What should donors bring with them? A. Their medical records. B. A friend. C. A photo ID. The correct answer is C. A photo ID. Number 9. Good morning. Please pay attention to the following safety announcement. Keep your seatbelt fastened at all times during the flight. In case of turbulence, listen to the crew's instructions. Thank you for flying with us. What should passengers do during the flight? A. Keep seatbelt fastened. B. Read a book. C. Listen to music. The correct answer is C. Keep seatbelt fastened. Number 10. Thank you for joining today's online safety workshop. We will cover the basics of creating strong passwords, identifying phishing scams, and securing your personal information online. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat. What is the primary focus of today's workshop? A. Basic coding. B. Digital marketing. C. Online safety. The correct answer is A. Online safety. Number 11. Welcome to the annual charity marathon. Today, we aim to raise funds for local shelters. 
all participants are encouraged to keep hydrated and wear appropriate footwear. Snacks and water stations are available along the route. Enjoy the race and thank you for your support. What is the purpose of today's event? A. To recruit new marathon runners. B. To promote new running shoes. C. To raise funds for local shelters. The correct answer is B. To raise funds for local shelters. Number 12. Our museum features exhibits on history, science, and art. We're open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day except Mondays. Enjoy guided tours, which are available at every hour. We hope you have a wonderful visit, Kupa. When is the museum closed? A. Sunday. B. Tuesday. C. Monday. The correct answer is A. Monday. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, the building was constructed. The late 90s. A, by, B, at, C, in, D, on. The correct answer is C, in. Number two, she apologized. The inconvenience caused. A, about, B, for, C, on, D, two. The correct answer is B, four. Number three, the project is delayed. Lack of resources. A, four, B, without, C, in spite of, D, because of. The correct answer is D, because of. Number four, they didn't attend the meeting. They were on vacation. A. Due to. B. Because. C. So that. D. Because of. The correct answer is. B. Because. Number five. The new policy will come into effect. Next month. A. At. B. On. C. By. D. In. The correct answer is B, on. Number six, the results. To the client by the end of the day. A, send. B, must be sent. C, will send. D, are sending. The correct answer is B, must be sent. Number seven, we. A decision by the end of the week. A. Will be making. B. Have made. C. Made. D. Will make. The correct answer is. D. Will make. Number 8. By the time we arrived, the guests. Left. A. Had. B. Will have. C. Were. D. Have. The correct answer is A. Had. Number 9. He apologized. The inconvenience caused A. To. B. With. C. About. D. For. The correct answer is D. For. Number 10. His busy schedule, he found time to attend the meeting. A. Although, B, because of, C, in spite of, D, despite.
The correct answer is D. Despite. Number 11. She is capable. Managing multiple projects at once. A. For. B. In. C. With. D. Of. The correct answer is D. Of. Number 12. They. Waiting for the results for three hours by now. A. Has been. B. R. C. Had been. D. Will have been. The correct answer is D. Will have been. Next up is part six. Reading, text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number one. Dear team, please be informed that the office will be for maintenance on Wednesday. Make sure to complete your tasks from home. Regards, office manager. A. Close. B. Closed. C. Closing. D. Closure. The correct answer is B. Closed. Number two. We are offering a 20% discount on all products available. Our website. A. At. B. Onto. C. Over. D. Into. The correct answer is A. At. Number three. Due to unforeseen circumstances, the seminar scheduled for next Wednesday has been to a later date. A. Postpone. B. Postponing. C. Postponed. D. Postpones. The correct answer is C. Postponed. Number four. The annual report will be at the conference next Monday. All employees are encouraged to attend. A. Discussed. B. Discussion. C. Discuss. D. Discussing. The correct answer is A. Discussed. Number five. The new project proposal has been and said will be discussing in the upcoming meeting on Friday. A. Submission. B. Submitting. C. Submits. D. Submitted. The correct answer is D. Submitted. Number six. We highly appreciate your prompt response to our G. A. Inquiring. B. Inquire. C. Inquires. D. Inquiry. The correct answer is D. Inquiry. And finally, part seven, reading, reading comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number one, we regret to inform you that the concert originally scheduled for Saturday, April 23rd, has been postponed. A new date will be announced soon. All purchase tickets will be valid for the rescheduled date or can be refunded at the point of purchase. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. What is the main point of this announcement? A. Cancellation of an event. B. Ticket price increase. C. Postponement of a concert. The correct answer is C. Introduction of a new concert series. Number 2. Dear Volunteers, our next community cleanup event will take place on August 5th at Riverside Park. Please come dressed in comfortable clothing and bring water. Let's work together to keep our park clean and beautiful. Regards, Organizing Committee. Where is the community cleanup event? A. Greenfield Park. B. Riverside Park. C. City Square. The correct answer is B. Riverside Park. Number 3. We are excited to announce that our company is partnering with Green Earth Organization to help plant trees in the local community. Volunteers are welcome to join the initiative next weekend. 
Who is the company partnering with? A. Nearby schools. B. Green Earth Organization. C. Local farmers. The correct answer is B. Green Earth Organization. Number 4. Customers, we are making changes to our store hours starting next month. The new hours will be Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday hours remain the same. Thank you for your understanding. Sincerely, Store Management. What is changing according to the announcement? A. Store hours. B. Store location. C. Staff uniforms. The correct answer is A. Store hours. Number 5. Attention shoppers. We are thrilled to announce our summer clearance event starting from June 1st to June 15th. Enjoy up to 50% off on select items across all departments. Hurry while stocks last. Best. Store management. What is the announcement about? A. A summer clearance event. B. A new product launch. C. A financing offer. The correct answer is A. A summer clearance event. Number 6. Notice. The management has scheduled a fire drill for Wednesday, November 20th at 3 p.m. All employees are required to participate and follow the instructions provided by the safety officers. The drill is expected to last approximately 30 minutes. What event is being announced in the notice? A. A fire drill. B. A safety meeting. C. A fire incident. The correct answer is A. A fire drill. Number 7. Reminder, the deadline for submitting the financial reports is Friday, March 20th. Late submissions will not be accepted. Please ensure all data is accurate and complete before the submission date. If you have any questions, contact the Finance Department. Thank you. What is the key detail in this reminder? A. Introduction of a new report format. B. Financial report submission deadline. C. Date of the next meeting. The correct answer is B. Change in submission rules. Number 8. Dear members, we are thrilled to announce the opening of our new fitness center on January 5th. The facility includes a variety of state of the art equipment, group classes, and personal training options. Come and join us to start your fitness journey. Sincerely, Gym Management. What is the main announcement in this message? A. A discount on memberships. B. The opening of a new fitness center. C. A special event for members. The correct answer is B. The opening of a new fitness center. Number 9. Dear Users. Our customer service hours will extend starting next month. We will now be available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Sunday, to assist you better. We are committed to providing exceptional service and support. What is changing in the customer service hours? A. Extended service hours. B. Shortened service hours. C. Weekend support only. The correct answer is a. Extended service hours. Number 10. Dear employees, please be informed that the annual staff meeting is scheduled for Friday, October 10th at the company's main conference hall. Attendance is mandatory for all staff members. During the meeting, we will discuss the company's performance, future plans, and take any questions you might have. Refreshments will be provided. Sincerely, the HR Department. Why is this announcement being made? A. To announce a staff meeting. B. To schedule performance reviews. C. To promote company performance. The correct answer is A. To announce a staff meeting. Number 11. Dear employees, 
This month's team meeting has been rescheduled to the third Tuesday at 2 p.m. in Conference Room B. Please prepare your departmental updates and come ready to discuss our quarterly goals. Coffee and snacks will be provided. Thank you for your cooperation. Best regards, management. What is the purpose of this notice? A. To discuss new hires. B. To inform about a pay raise. C. To announce a rescheduled team meeting. The correct answer is C. To announce a staff party. Number 12. Dear valued customers, we are excited to introduce our new loyalty program. Join now to earn points with every purchase and enjoy exclusive discounts, early access to sales, and special birthday rewards. Sign up online or in store today. Thank you for your continued support. Best regards, customer service. What is being introduced in this message? A. A seasonal sale. B. A new loyalty program. C. A new product line. The correct answer is B. A new loyalty program. Number 13. Due to the road construction on Elm Street, employees are advised to use alternate routes to the office for the next two weeks. We apologize for any inconvenience and appreciate your understanding and cooperation. What is the advised action for employees? A. To work from home. B. To come earlier the office. C. To use alternate routes. The correct answer is C. To take public transportation. Number 14. We invite you to attend our annual charity gala, which will be held on Saturday, November 20th at the Grand Ballroom. All proceeds from the event will be donated to local shelters. Reserve your tickets now and join us for an evening of giving back to the community. What is the announcement encouraging people to do? A. Sign up for a marathon. B. Attend the charity gala. C. Register for a workshop. The correct answer is B. Attend the charity gala. Number 15. Friends of the Library, we're happy to inform you that our annual book fair is scheduled for October 15th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be a wide variety of books available, and all proceeds will benefit the library's programs. We hope to see you there. Sincerely, the library staff. When is the book fair taking place? A. September 20th. B. November 10th. C. October 15th. The correct answer is C. August 30th. Number 16. Dear residents, Please be informed that the water supply will be interrupted in your area on Thursday, July 21st, due to essential maintenance work. The interruption will last from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your understanding. Why is the water supply going to be interrupted? A. Essential maintenance work. B. A water pipe burst. C. Installing new pipelines. The correct answer is A. Upgrading the water plant. Number 17. Notice. The water supply will be temporarily interrupted in the entire building on Thursday, July 12th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. due to essential maintenance work. We advise all residents to store sufficient water in advance. We regret any inconvenience this may cause. Why will the water supply be interrupted? A. To install new pipes. B. Due to a water shortage. C. For essential maintenance work. The correct answer is C. For essential maintenance work. Number 18. Attention shoppers! We are excited to announce our upcoming spring sale event, which starts on April 1st. Enjoy up to 50% off on selected items throughout the store. This is a limited time offer, so don't miss out on great savings. Happy shopping! Best wishes, store management. What is the main purpose of this announcement? A. Providing information about a sale event. B. Introducing a new product line. C. Permanent price reduction.
The correct answer is A. Providing information about a sale event.